private home sales in October slowed. It, it, rather, it slowed in October, but was still higher than the units sold in the same period last year. Market watchers say slower sales near the year end was expected because of the holiday season, and they say that the property market remains resilient amid economic uncertainties. Kelly Wong tells us more. Park Esther was the top selling private residential project in October, with more than 90 units sold that month. Following close behind, Treasure at Tampines also saw strong demand, with buyers snapping up 88 units. While these projects led the October sales, these units were actually launched as early as November last year. One analyst says buyers are delaying their purchases as they are becoming more cautious. I think if we compare with uh, a few years ago, uh, where uh, stock is more limited, uh, you would find uh, whenever there's new launches, uh, buyers will rush in. Uh, but now, because we have a lot more stock available and existing projects is also selling, uh, still selling, so therefore buyers would tend to compare uh, upcoming new launches with what they can get in the market. Uh, it just shows that buyers do shop around, take longer to make a decision and they do come back and buy. The Urban Redevelopment Authority's new private home sales data for October was a third lower than the number of units sold in September. But it's nearly 85% higher compared to the same period last year, when 502 new private homes were sold. Leading projects Treasure at Tampines and Park Esther are located in the outside of Central Region and the rest of Central Region. The October data shows that buyers are unfazed by more expensive units in the core central region, or CCR, where the location can attract a higher premium. More than 180 CCR units were sold last month. That's nearly five times higher than the same period last year. One analyst says even amid economic uncertainty, buyers prefer properties in the CCR. It's the uncertainty that actually drives more buyers into the market. And initially what we are seeing is, of course, buyers tend to believe that the, the real estate market will correct itself. But we do see a two quarter consecutive quarter increases in the price index. So that may have altered their sentiments and their expectations. If you look at the core central region, there's a general perception that the properties there tends to hold value pretty much better than the rest of the other assets in the market. Analysts have differing views on whether the total units sold for this year will surpass last year's 8,795 units sold, especially with the slower year-end market.